time for spring cleaning, tackling clutter, and that includes organizing all your digital devices and areas. Expert Justin Klosky is here. He's got some tips on how to get us started. You are so good at this. You always get us or get us organized. <laughs> Thank you for having me. As usual. So uh, we're talking about tech devices. I know I've got pictures all over the place, different files, and and it it kind of weighs you down, just like clutter in the real world, right? It does, it does. And my focus really is when I was going through my office this mm -hmm. spring, I was thinking about all the wires, tons of wires mm -hmm. that are taking up our spaces and kind of distracting us, right? So a lot of the things that I brought with me today really are, they're wireless devices. Okay. So this laptop I started playing around with, it's, mm -hmm. it's actually made by Dell. It's their 7285 2-in-1. It's a tablet, but what's great about it is there's no wires. You literally put it down and it charges. That's how it charges? That's how it charges. No outlets, no more running around going crazy like I need an outlet, exactly. I need and, an outlet, and right? And someone like you, right, who's on the go. On the move. Yep, you're going into meetings, conferences, you come back. The last thing you want to think about is plugging your device in and not having it charged. So does this come with the laptop when you, when you um, buy it or is I that think, another, I, I, an extra I accessory? I think it's separate, but it, 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 it definitely goes with it and it's super important, of course. How do you charge the charger? Are um, there batteries? Th there's one plug. Oh, okay. One plug. It's funny, the whole word wireless, right? Right. Like, at the end of the day, we still need a power source. So mm -hmm. until one of the companies out there decides to power our homes with wireless technology, one wire to rule them all. Okay, we're getting there. That's a good yes. start. Um, all right, what about this big thing? Oh, this thing, beautiful. Um, efficiency is everything mm -hmm. in, this, in this day and age, right? So having dual monitors, in my opinion, is super important because it will increase your productivity. So when you get back to your desk, again, mm -hmm. sitting a device like this down, there's a device in front of this monitor that actually will wirelessly mirror your computer to the monitor. So no more. That's this? That's it. And oh, and it's light. It's light. It's simple. What and do you call this? It's a, it's a, del it's a dock. It's a basically dock. just okay. a docking station. So literally, all of your all your peripherals, all of your uh, USB drives, everything plugs into that. And mm -hmm. the moment you sit your device in front of it, wireless. It goes from there to there yes. to here. Yes. Without any work. And having two monitors makes you more productive, right? You can have one monitor for mm -hmm. your personal stuff, your calendar, your address book, your messages, your music, and then on the left side or on the other screen, your email and your browser. <sighs> Sounds great. Well, what the heck? What do we got going on over here? What is the, I brought this in because I, I wanted to stress the importance of adding personality to your space, taking your workplace or any place that you're working in in general and allowing you to feel some sense of freedom in it because let's be real, you're working at least 40 hours a week in a space, you probably more. So this is about just making it personal, making it feel like home, bringing yeah, a little some something pictures, from home. A plant. And I this is a, actually yours from when you were a kid, it right? It is. It's mine from when I was a kid, and I have it in my office. And it's a, it's also a conversation piece. You know, we're all we're all caught up in the the mundane conversations at work, and everyone's always talking about business. So when someone walks into your office, they're like, "Well, what What's is?" What's with the Fisher what? Price tape player? Exactly. It's like, well, here's the story. So. All right, so organizing your space, I, I know you're big on getting rid of the clutter, but it's kind of fun to bring in some individual It is, pieces. and I brought in a Polaroid camera too because like when people or guests come into your space, it's fun to have a memory. It's fun to capture something in a way that's not digital, and mm -hmm. you know I'm big on digital, but every now and then, tangibility can be, be important. Little picture frames as well, plants. Yeah, and then most importantly, while we're looking at all these things for everyone who's listening, backing up your data is super mm. important. Are we talking about the cloud, or how do you do it? Yeah, absolutely. The cloud is a really great place to store your information. Just know where your data is going. I mean, especially listening to this Amazon story that I was hearing, like, we, we don't know these days, right. right? Privacy is important, so know where your data is going. And for that, for that reason alone, make sure you have a tangible hard drive as well backing up your data, something on your, your physical desk so you know you have control over it. That way, if there's an emergency or something, you got it. So much to think about. You make it easy, Justin. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thank All for right. Having me. We have a lot more ways to help you with your spring cleaning, especially your digital devices and workspaces. Just go to our website, it is kcal9.com. Click Seen on TV.